Grade eights, I hope you're feeling like sharing because we're doing the distributive law. So what is this? Well, let's do an example. Let's do a few examples. So we've got, let's say I gave you this to simplify. What's two times? So next to the brackets means times three plus four. In fact, work it out. What, what do you think the answer is? Okay, so hopefully you got 14. And let's see, how did you get that? I suspect, I'm not sure, but I suspect that you said, well, this is easy. Because what should I do first? Should I do the multiplication or should I do the brackets first? Bed math says I should do brackets first because it's bed math. So B for brackets. Brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Brackets first, you say. Great stuff. That's the same as 2 times 7, 2 times 7 is 14. But I'm going to show you a new way, and this is going to help us when these have got x's and things in them. So, okay, 2 into 3 plus 4. And this time, I'm going to say, instead of doing the brackets first, you can what's called distribute the 2. So you can say, well, this is the same as 2 times each of those. So we've got 2 times 3. Well, that gives us 6, I think. So I'm going to write that step out to show what I mean. This is 2 times 3. And then we can add the 2 multiplied by the 4. So 2 times 4. And you don't have to show this step, but we're figuring out to go, okay, well, 2 times 3 is, that's the same as 6, I think. Let's put it in this color, 6. And to that, we're adding 2 times 4, which is 8. And with a bit of luck, 6 plus 8 gives us 14. So we get the same answer. Things are looking good. Now you might reasonably ask, why does this work? And I'm going to give you a very short, perhaps not satisfactory explanation here. So we've got 2 into 3 plus 4. Now previously you might have looked at this to go, well this is 2 times, and then in brackets, 3 we're going to say was like 1, 2, 3 and to that you are adding another 4 1, 2, 3, 4 and you said well that's easy enough that means 2 times well what's 3 plus 4 we've got 3 of these circles plus another 4 so we've got 1, 2, 3 4, 5, 6, 7 and if we've got 2 lots of 7 because we've got 2 times that we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we've got another lot of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many do we have all together? Well, we've got 14. So in other words, that would be one way of looking at how you did that. You added that those together first and then said you've got two lots of them. Now let's look at this other way of doing it and say, my claim is you can distribute this in. So instead of, same idea, you've got two lots of, 3 plus you're adding to that a lot of 4. And we're saying, well, we can distribute this. So we can say, well, we've got two lots of 3 and 4. So in other words, we've got two lots of 3. So let's just do that like that. We've got two of these 3. And to that, we've also got two lots of Four. So let's put a multiply. So in other words, we've got two of three and four. So in other words, we've got two threes and two fours. So our two threes now we can look at to go, well, we've got one, two, three, and another one, two, three. And we've got two of these fours, one, two, three, four, and another lot of them. So how many do we have all together? Well, if we count all those up, 1, 3, 4, 14. Okay. So that's maybe one way of looking at why it works. We could do it with areas. We might do that later in the year again. Okay, so that's how we do it. So let's see how this is going to work with when we've got x's and why, how it's going to help us when we do equations. So let's start with this one. Okay, we're going to distribute. So we've got minus 4 times 2x. So what is minus 4 times 2x? 
Yeah, we've got minus 4 times 2x is minus 8x. Minus 4 times 2 is minus 8, and negative times a positive is a negative x. Now, do not write down a sign yet. Do not write plus. Do not write negative. We don't know what it is yet. And let's do the second part and say this negative 4, we need to now multiply by the second term here. So we've got negative 4 times negative 3. And keep your signs with the numbers. It's going to make your life so, so easy. And now we can go, what's negative 4 times negative 3, positive 12? And our signs all work themselves out. There's no, now we're adding a negative or subtracting a positive or subtracting a negative. I didn't write any sign down. Just went negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Done. Okay. Last bit of the puzzle. Why do we need this for equations? Your equations are going to look something like this. And we're going to go, how do we solve this? We must multiply into the brackets first. So we're going to go 4 times x gives us 4x. 4 times negative 2. Remember I said take that number, multiply it with the sign. 4 times negative 2, negative 8. Right? That equals, on the right-hand side, we've got 2 times x, 2x. And our last bit is 2 times positive 1. Positive 2 times a positive 1 gives us a positive 2. We didn't write down the sign until we knew what it was. And from there, you should be able to solve. And that's what we're going to see and keep doing. But we're still solving equations for the rest of this week and beyond. So have fun. There are some questions to do. Oh, I wrote them down, that's why. So let's make sure they're part of this video. So we've got exercise 10, number 1, and number 7. If you're watching this on Tuesday, we've got a class on Wednesday, so bring your questions from this into Wednesday, and we'll go through them there. See you soon.